Hey guys, so I thought it would be fun to do a pack with me. Our trip is for 12 days and this is actually a rare occasion where I'm not thinking through every single outfit and what accessory or shoes to match with it. I'm just throwing in whatever would feel comfy for me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get packing. Okay, let's start with Tarte Poreless Primer. It's the only primer that's ever traveled with me for the past six years and only now I'm running out, but I'm still gonna bring it with me because all the other primers I have are a little bit too big. Makeup Forever was the only foundation I owned at the time, so that always came with me. If we went somewhere fancy like Paris, then I would bring Luminous Silk Foundation. Of course, I brought my Tarte Shape Tape, but I only used it for my acne. Only last year I started using it for my under eyes, so I never brought loose powder. For pressed powder, I used Tarte's Amazon onion clay tinted pressed finishing powder in the shade medium. I would always use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and Mary Luminizer highlighter from the balm. And I would also always bring my Naked palette but that's expired along with my Renaissance palette and this Maybelline Quad palette which is also expired. For mascara I brought Urban Decay's Cannonball Waterproof Mascara since waterproof mascara is the only thing that can hold my straight lashes up. For eyeliner I would use Tarte's Tartist eyeliner but I ran out and even though that was a liquid and the pencil eyeliner in one, I would still always bring like five different eyeliners. I didn't bring eyebrow pencils because of my microblading, but I would always bring my Ico brow gel, eyelash curler, and tweezers. Whenever I travel, I always bring a nude and a red lipstick, which would be Dose of Colors No Shade and Over the Top Lip Gloss. And for red, I would bring a sample of OCC's Lip Tar in the shade Stalker. Okay, so that's what I used to bring, and now I only need like half of that. Instead of foundation, I'm going to bring BB cream. I might bring my Juvia's Place foundation if my skin is breaking that closer to our trip, but I doubt I will since I can just cover up blemishes with concealer. Instead of my Tarte and Too Faced powders, I'm going to bring a two-in-one powder and contour, which is Kat Von D's Shade and Light Duo. I'm not going to bring highlighter. I just feel like I don't need it. I don't need three eyes shadow palettes anymore when I use the same eyeshadow shades anyways so I'm replacing that with Charlotte Tilbury's Dulce Vita palette because it has all the shades I use no more eyelash curler since I did the lash lift. I'll bring a Kat Von D travel size concealer instead. Eyeliner will be from Thrive Cosmetics because there's a built-in smudger tool so now I don't have to bring a pencil brush. And liquid liner will be NYX Epic Ink Liner. Nude lipstick I'm bringing ColourPop's Quickie instead and red will be Fuck Kavanaugh. So my makeup's gone from this to this. I would always store all my makeup in this Sephora bag along with my makeup brushes. I always use Karuna's Brightening Face Mask the day I arrive because the plane just really dehydrates my skin and the mask always helps me along with these eye gels from Skin Iceland. Oh, and I forgot my beauty blender. So this is what I used to bring. I don't need my foundation brush anymore because I just need my beauty sponge. I don't need my highlighter brush. I don't need my pencil brush because I have that little smudge tool on my eyeliner. I'm gonna use my finger to pack on my lid shade so I don't need a shader brush. This is basically all I need now. My Real Techniques brush is for my powder and contour and I just have some blending brushes. Now since I have so much room, I don't need this bag. I forgot to mention my e.l.f. brush soap. I don't need to bring makeup wipes anymore because I have my face halo. So my e.l.f. brush soap will wash both my brushes and my face halo which is a makeup remover. I can technically use an even smaller bag than that, but I'll probably just fill it up with other random stuff I have. Next, let's move on to liquid. So I have my face wash, my toner, my moisturizer, my neck cream, my sunscreen, don't forget your sunscreen guys, my setting spray, and my feminine wash. So obviously everything that's not in travel size, I put them in travel size containers. So next I'm bringing my drone. If you're a normal person, you probably wouldn't be bringing a drone, but since there's room here, I'm gonna fill it with my disposable underwear. If I'm taking a trip that's longer than a week, then I bring disposable underwear. This bag is for miscellaneous stuff, curling iron, my foot roller, because I know for a fact my feet will hurt since I'll be walking around for hours. You can always bring a tennis ball, but I like this more. I like to bring my jewelry in a mini clear bag, this bag is for all my eyeliners, brushes, mascara. I decided to put my smaller makeup in this bag and my bigger makeup like my BB cream and primer in my liquids bag. Then I have a hat. I never wear hats, but I convinced myself to get one so I don't get more freckles. Next bag is a shoe bag. I'm only bringing a pair of slippers and a pair of shoes, which I will wear on the plane so I don't have to pack them. I'll throw in all my socks too. 
clothing bag. I'm going to lay my bikini flat since it doesn't really take up a lot of space. I'm bringing two pairs of pants, one pair of shorts. I'll be bringing shorts and a sports bra. You know what's funny? If I don't work out even for like two days, I feel nasty. Like my body feels nasty. I feel like I just really need to sweat. But as soon as I'm traveling or on vacation, my body's like, nope. I don't know if it's because I don't like people and there's always people in the gym or if it's just because I'm exhausted from traveling. It's probably a combo of both. But I always tell myself I'm gonna have time to work out, yet I never do. But I'm still gonna bring those workout clothes. I got my belt, one, two, three, four, five shirts. I try to bring light clothing. So since I have five different tank tops that can cover at least five to seven days, one dress I might bring two. I'm still deciding along with my rompers, one or two. I can wear my rompers and dresses twice, so that can cover another six days. So I think I'll have enough clothing for 12 days. Pajama shorts. So I'm actually not packing any bras. I'm not a big fan of bras, even though I don't have big boobs. I just hate wearing them. I can't even imagine how it feels with you ladies who have bigger boobs. I always try to wear nipple covers. And I like strapless bras, yet I only have one. There's one I've been wanting to buy from online. It's actually from an Italian brand. And they actually have a store in Vienna. So I think I'm just going to buy it there in person rather than online because it's actually cheaper in person. And that's it. So at the bottom, I have my drone. On top of that, my slippers. To the left is my clothes. I have my liquids and then I have my miscellaneous. Okay, so I want to show you guys what my ideal carry-on bag would look like, what I would be using on the airplane. This is my ideal bag, not what I really bring. So I would have a sheet mask. This is Karuna's brightening face mask. I always, always use this the day I arrive. Then I have these Skin Iceland's Firming Eye Gels. I have my water bottle. It's one of those cute, like... It's one of those ones that you could fill up like that. have some tissues. I'm just gonna put it in the little case right here in this little zipper along with a panty liner. I have some organic cotton wipes. I can't remember what these were exactly for but I always feel nasty on planes and I always try to bring feminine wipes but I was actually looking for a wipe that could actually be both a feminine wipe and an underarm wipe and I asked the ladies on Amazon under this product, I asked the lady, I was like, hey, do you guys use this? Can you use this on both as a feminine and an underarm wipe? And all the ladies said yes, so this is perfect. You can use this both as a feminine and underarm wipe. Or at least that's what the lady said. I haven't tried it yet, but it has really good reviews. I have my sunglasses. These are Desi Perkins Key Australia sunglasses. These are my favorite key ones. I have a bunch of hair ties. Just put this in the little zipper so they don't fall out. Obviously have my passport. I have my comb, my toothbrush, and some of these lush toothy tabs. I like them because I try to bring the least amount of liquids that I can, but these aren't really the most delicious or just tasteful tabs, but I mean they work. Then I have an SPF lip balm. I have this little essential oil roll-on. It's for to help you sleep. I actually bought this because there's a Sage Wellness shop at our mall and I sniffed all their roll-ons and they smelled so good, but they're kind of expensive. So I just bought this on Amazon. And now I wish I actually bought the expensive one because you can kind of really tell the difference. This smells more like diluted than the Sage Wellness one. So hopefully that can help me sleep because I just cannot sleep at all. I have all my contact lenses. I would have snacks. I don't have any right now, but I always tell myself to buy snacks, yet I end up buying them at the airport. But truthfully, I just wish I brought them because, you know, airport food's usually more expensive. So I would ideally have some snacks in there. I'd have my medication. I would bring a hat. I do not wear hats, but I really think I need to start wearing them, especially if I don't like my freckles. I would have an adapter. I would have my camera and all my memory cards and my batteries in here. And obviously I'd have my phone. I would have some earphones. And I would have my portable charger. So I know that seems like a lot, but this bag is actually really light. Like there's no weight to everything I put in here. It's really, really light. 
Okay, so now for being completely realistic, I wouldn't bring these eye gels. They're not as important to me as a sheet mask. Like I always, always bring a sheet mask, but these are just like sometimes. Something I could also live without are sunglasses. I just feel like these could take up space. I hate wearing sunglasses. Like none of them can fit my face like they always fall off and if i do find one that's tight enough to fit my face then i'll have a headache that's why i usually don't wear glasses or hats because i easily get migraines for anything like sitting on my face so this also isn't really a must tissue tissue is really smart to bring and i always tell myself to bring tissues but i notice that i end up never needing them i think maybe because obviously when you go to the bathroom there's tissue there but it would just be nice to have an extra pair but yeah, I just I just end up never bringing them. These wipes, I'm definitely bringing them for this trip. I mean, I bought them, they're new. And I always tell myself that I need wipes. Yeah, I never buy them. So like I said, it's also not a necessity because I've lived without traveling with them. But now I really feel like I need them. But yeah, this is another thing I could live without in my carry-on bag. This is more like a personal bag, actually. My hat too, I probably wouldn't put this in my personal bag. I'd probably just store this in my bigger bag because I like my personal bag to be as light as possible. And obviously I'm not gonna wear it on the plane. So yeah, this would probably be more in my luggage. I think those would be the only things I would take out of my personal bag. Because if we're being completely realistic here, if you watched my July favorites, the only reason I need this bag is for my camera equipment. So everything in here is more for what I'm going to bring on the plane or what I need on the plane. But what I'm actually using this bag for is like all my camera equipment. So yeah, you'll probably be seeing this bag a lot. But like I was saying in that favorites video is that it's perfect because you can have it as a purse. You can have it as a backpack and it just looks so sleek. There's actually different colors of this. I think there's a red and I forgot what the other color was, but the red looks really pretty too. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I'm packing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in Vienna. So I'll see you there guys.